All right, so I'm in Blackboard and I've actually created an area in Blackboard called MindTap Public Speaking, but you can actually add in your MindTap links wherever you want them to go within Blackboard. The first step in getting everything set up is to connect this Blackboard course with a MindTap course. And so to do that, we're gonna start by going into the Tools menu. And from the Tools menu, we're going to choose Cengage Learning Mind Links. If you do not see this as an option, you just need to turn it on. And that is done through your customization area. And then you're gonna choose Tool Availability and add the Cengage, Mind, Cengage Learning Mind Links tool um, to your course. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Cengage Learning Mind Links. The very first time that you access this, it will ask you to put in your um, Cengage account credentials, and you'll just need to put those in once, and that's just to verify that you're, uh, you should see the instructor view rather than the student view. So after you put that information in, you'll be taken to the screen that I'm on right here, and we're gonna choose the Koopman Public Speaking, and we're going to be prompted now to create our course. So you can see that we have a few different options. So we could create a brand new course, um, we can copy from existing courses, so you can certainly copy from semester to semester, um, and you can copy from another instructor's course. This allows you to create a master and then have it propagated down um, to individual sections. But we're just gonna create a brand new one, and so I'm gonna call it you. And then we're gonna set our dates on the course. So um, I'm just gonna say today, and then we'll put it through August. And then lastly, you'll select your time zone and then hit continue. So we're getting a message that um, we want to add in the link to the course in the Blackboard. So we'll hit continue. Continue once again, and then Blackboard will ask us to submit. So now you have your link that will take you into MindTap. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can choose to set up the integration within Blackboard so you can have the singular link that takes the students into MindTap, or you can actually create links that take students to individual items. So that way you can add in the links into your existing Blackboard um, folder structure. But what I'm going to do just for demonstration purposes is show you how you would add in those individual links and just show you how easy it is. So that's done again through your tools menu, and then you'll click on Cengage Learning Mind Links. And we'll click on the Koopman book. And now you can see that it gives us this kind of checklist of all of the items that are within MyTap. So what we can do is just click the check boxes next to the items that we want to add into this area within Blackboard. So for this demo, we'll say that I want the chapter one quiz. And this add to grade book indicates whether or not you're creating a Blackboard grade center column. So I'm gonna say, yes, I do want to create a column. But we could also say that I want the link to this video activity, but I don't want the scores to go into the Blackboard gradebook. So you have full control over what scores are actually funneling into your Blackboard Grade Center. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Confirm Selections so it shows me what I've selected. Then we'll hit Submit. And now we have links here that would take students to those specific items within MyTap. 